obra original de Yolanda Vargas Dulce. Es una descarada por ser la más hermosa. No tiene casi nada, pero le gusta la vida cara. Y a mí me gusta ella. Es una descarada por ser la más hermosa. No tiene casi nada, pero le gusta la vida cara. Y a mí me gusta ella. What's up guys? Welcome back or welcome to the channel if you're new. Today we are doing a telenovela inspired by Ruby. Ruby, which by the way, this was a telenovela back in 2004. Usually I do the ones like in the 90s, but I still wanted to give you guys a Valentine's Day look. I think her name is pronounced Barbara Mori. Something like that. And in my last haul that I did, I did tell you guys that I bought the Ruby earrings from Shein and this ruffle dress. Halter dress, by the way, you know, but I just didn't tell you guys that I was doing this video. But we are also going to be like, you know, giving it the Valentine's Day look that it needs. <laughs> Let's just get started. I am going to be doing this in a voiceover. I really didn't feel like doing a talk through. So I'm going to start off with my ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealer. I do not remember which shade this is in and I have it right here, but I don't feel like <laughs> that's, that's like that embodies laziness. And, but anyway, I'm going to be using this one because I'm going to be priming my eyelids and also cleaning up my brows. So I like to clean it up with a concealer. And by the way, this dope well it wasn't a dope foot applicator the flat applicator that this concealer has it broke off so i have to like literally like try to dab it on but it's almost finished anyway so i'm just going to use it up sticking to the simplest looks i'm going to be using my profusion mixed metals palette and i'm going to be starting off with these two shades called likable and outgoing they are the most toned down neutral tones and i'm going to be blending those in the crease i'm using like most of my pink packaging today my pink and red packaging for these makeup products so that's why i have to kind of just like settle for what i can use and to be honest i did not clean any of my makeup brushes that i used the last time i created a look so i'm just using whatever shimmer is left on this brush just to like clean up the brow bone so just go in with like a light shimmer. Then I'm going to use this light shimmer called Celestial. It's so pretty. It's like a um a rose gold tone, something like that. Champagne rosy tone. And I'm just going to apply that all over the lid. Very sparsely, not um like really trying to make it look opaque and pop. I think her shimmer shade maybe was like gold or something. And then for the eyeliner, I'm going to be using this e.l.f. like smudge pot type of black eyeliner. This gives you the most opaque eyeliner look and matte as well. So that's kind of like the look I'm going for. But I'm not going to be applying the wing. I'm just going to be focusing it across the lid. I feel like that's what a lot of early 2000s liner looks consist of. Not like winged out. Stopping short of a wing. <laughs> For mascara, I'm going in with the Joa Lash Uprising, definitely my favorite mascara to use. I try not to use too much of it because I don't want it to go nowhere because <laughs> then I'd have to go to like CVS or Walgreens to pick up a new one. But yeah, this is like my favorite drugstore mascara. For lashes, I literally have to go off camera and figure out which ones I want to apply. But until then, I'm just going to move on to the face. For face, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Primer Serum just to hydrate around the outer perimeter of my face and some parts of the T-zone. And then to kind of like mattify, but mostly to conceal these pores that I have because they are large and in charge these days, I'm going to be using that Essentially Be Pure primer that I got from the Dollar Tree that I have been loving. For foundation, I'm going to be using the Joa Beauty Crystal Glow Tinted Luminizer in the shade Sun Beige. This gives you the most natural look. It is like a little bit heavier so you can go light handed. I mean it is like a stick foundation so that's why you can go a little bit lighter hand. And see, this is the applicator to my concealer. But anyway, I am going to be, for cream bronzer, I'm going to be using the Soul Body Bronzer in the shade Dark just to cream bronze. And then after letting the concealer sit for a while, I'm going in with the Joa Beauty Crystal Glow Spray and just spraying my Japanese sponge. And then I'm going to blend out the concealer. For blush, and this is the only one I'm going to be using today, I'm going to go in with the Fenty Beauty Cream Blush in the shade Daiquiri Dip. It's a red tone. It does look more pink, but it's red. And I thought red would fit the look a little bit better than like a true pink. Then I'm going to go in with the Laura Mercier Translucent Honey Loose Setting Powder. This is also the only 
powder that I'm using today, like the setting powder. And then for highlighter, just to match the vibe, I'm going in with the Wet n Wild Pressed Powder Highlighter in the shade Precious Petals. I think that's what it's called because it's like the rose gold one. I wanted the gold one, but this one is fine. I don't use it too much because it is a little bit more pink. But I'm just going to apply a little bit on the nose above the cupid's bow. And then I'm also going to apply some on the cheek. But just a little bit because I have not been liking highlighter too much lately. Only like down the nose because it really helps to slim it out. For eyeliner and a waterline, I'm going to be going in with the Pro Fusion Eyeliner. This is not like the Maybelline one that I have. This is more of like a pencil. So it gives a more softer effect. And then for the eyeshadow, I'm going to go in with the shade tricky which is like the deepest tone i think it's like a deep brown or something like that and i'm just going to tap that on the lower lash line above or below <laughs> the eyeliner and the waterline for powder bronzer i'm going to go in with the lys press powder bronzer in a shade courage tan i honestly did not need to apply this except for on the nose to just further help slim it out i should not apply this on the face because it just was a little too much but it is what it is and then the nerve of me to be applying it on the face with this little small eyeshadow brush <laughs> For lips, gonna be applying the Wet n Wild Color Icon Red Lip Liner. This is the only red lip liner I have. For the lipstick, I really wanted to try this out. Christian Siriano? Uh, I don't even remember who it is, but it was a perfume that I got a little sample one. And the sample perfume came with this little sample lipstick. And it smells pretty good. I swear I was like, if this is... <laughs> this is nail polish and not lipstick. I could not tell, but it was very, very thin. Thick, like really thick which made me think that it was nail polish but it's very very creamy and shiny it is a lipstick but it's like a, a glossy red lipstick it's very pretty but it's not my cup of tea so I think I'm actually gonna end it off with Mac Ruby Woo cuz I just mm -mm. for lashes I decided to go in with these Ioni ones these are from the natural doll collection in the style sweet dreams they are a little bit more natural so then I added um, the Ioni lash extensions I think this is the style three strands wispy medium length and I just added one to each outer part and then for some final touches I'm just going back in with that deepest shade called tricky and adding it to the outer part just to deepen it up because her look did look a little bit deeper right there and that will complete this look i hope you guys enjoy this little v de telenovela vid please don't forget to like comment subscribe check out my 80s 90s and early 2000s playlist where i also did more telenovelas over there and other types of looks and i'll see you guys in the next video bye <laughs>